What is up guys? Welcome to a pottery video. I'm John the Potter. We have a completely full glaze kiln. I'm gonna take everything out, show you. We have a giant planter in the bottom of this that I am very excited to see. I have not seen it yet. Uh, and I love these videos because it's like my favorite part of the pottery process and I get to share it with you guys. So, I apologize, I've been slacking on the YouTube videos, but we are hiring Kai. Kai Brisk Pottery, who has worked with me in the studio the last couple summers. Yes, Kai's really tall. He's graduating school with a degree in ceramics, and he's gonna start working for us, with us, uh, starting in like two weeks. So we have some very exciting plans, including lots more videos, lots more social media content, lots more pots, uh, just some exciting things. So. Uh, our May collection of pots, which includes a lot of what's in here, as well as some stuff that's already done, is up Sunday, May 7th at 6 p.m. All right, first thing we got is this giant bowl. Look at that. It's almost more of like a platter bowl. Look at that drip on the outside there. Norse blue, raspberry mist, a little bit of alabaster, turned out pretty good. Got a little warpage, if you can see that. I have been making these bowls. I've just been throwing bowls like crazy, like really shallow pasta type bowls. Try and throw them a little thicker. That one's a little warped. I don't know. What do you think? Warped? Do you care about the warpage? Smashes my shirt. But I've been making, yeah, these wide shallow bowls. And I started with like a pound and three quarters and then I went to two pounds and then I went to two and a quarter pounds. And then they just, every time I take them out of the kiln, I think I could have gone bigger. Could have gone bigger. Little tester mug, uh, Aurora green over purple. This is a blue. Kind of just random threw it in there because I had room on the top. All right, this will be an interesting kiln load, I think. It's probably gonna be a pretty short kiln load because there's one giant piece in the bottom. Ooh, look at this. Woo! That is sweet. Another big, big platter bowl. Got lots of crazing going on there. Not a fan. I need gloves for that one. All right, that is a gorgeous, you beautiful bowl, platter, whatever you wanna call it. I love it very much. The outside is sweet looking. Really, really beautiful. The bottom shelf, we got our giant planter for my wife's ZZ plant. Oh, that's cool. Some very cool things. Yeah. Okay, so yes, yes, yes. Let's get the, the lighting right for that. So these are that Desert Sunset combo. Love it. But instead of having copper on the inside, it has Green tea, it's really, really nice looking. Could almost, I could almost leave a little more green at the top so it transitions. That's sweet. That's sweet. The other combo that's pretty cool, ooh, that's got a big pinhole in it, is Norse blue. So it's got Norse blue on the inside, copper on the outside. Pretty cool, besides that big pinhole. There's another one of those. Wow, that's really, I should just do, just do a bunch like that because those are awesome. Awesome, awesome. It's pretty cool too. Blue, brown, orange, copper. Got lots of colors going on in there. And then I got nice. Those are really, really nice. Blue surf over alabaster. That was like layered like way up there. Wow. Norse blue over alabaster. Just dripped like crazy and lucky. It's like almost like white. Looks like a snowstorm. That's cool. Basically, I did like alabaster with Aurora Green, alabaster with Blue Surf, and alabaster with North Blue, all in the same style. So you can see those three right there. Aurora Green over alabaster, Blue Surf over alabaster, North Blue over alabaster. All right, and then of course, one of the popular, most popular combos I've been doing recently, Aurora Green over bright red. Love it. Shipwreck and alabaster and Norse blue. The tri, the trifecta glazes. Uh, three more, excuse me. Three more of those Aurora green over bright red. Got more of the uh, blue surf over alabaster, Aurora green over alabaster. That is just crazy looking. Norse blue over alabaster. So bright. All right, and then the giant planter that's in here is in the bottom shelf. A planter in the middle too, since it's unglazed. Since I didn't glaze the bottom, I could put a, another piece in there. So that's another planter. Pretty cool. It'll still work. I don't know if 
<laughs> my wife's kind of picky about stuff. I don't know if she's gonna like that or not. But I like it. I think it's cool. Blues, greens. All right, there you go. That was the kill mode with the giant planter in it. So this I made with, I threw the base, which was like 11 pounds, and then I did a coil method up to the top. So I have a little time-lapse video that I can show, but. And then I did alabaster on the whole thing with blue surf, roar green, and Norse blue just kind of like alternated. Could have even put more glaze on there. It's not something I say all the time, but nice. Sweet. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm excited to pump out some more content very soon. Uh, if you guys wanna check out any pots for sale, May collection will be May 7th. And then I'd love to see you at our Epic Pottery event, August 12th and 13th. Come check it out. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. I've been getting stuff ready already for it. So it's gonna be sweet. All right, see you guys in the next video.